not all about cool rockets and high-tech gadgets. It's about people, and it's one of the greatest adventures of all time. Welcome to Explorers Wanted. Here you can see today what's happening at NASA and get a feel for what it takes to have a career in space exploration. We have yet to confer where humankind's next steps into space will take us, but today we'll share with you some exciting ideas being developed right now. Look at the people around you. The next future explorers just might be in this room today. That means we have no time to waste. We better get you ready. Let's start with the most obvious question. Like, where can we go? Well, we definitely want to go to the International Space Station. Now that we've retired the Space Shuttle, we'll be depending on our international and commercial partners for rides to and from the Space Station while NASA continues its mission of space exploration and discovery. Where else could we go? We could go back to the moon. There's so much more to explore. Or we may decide to rendezvous with a rogue asteroid or comet. How cool would that be? And then there's Mars. Our robots are there right now scoping things out. But just imagine what you'll find when you can finally set foot on the red planet and explore it in person. Now you're probably wondering, why retire the space shuttle? What's wrong with what we've got? Well, the space shuttle was only designed for missions in low Earth orbit. This versatile and reusable spaceship has a long list of accomplishments. It was instrumental in the creation of the International Space Station. It helped us better understand Earth through climate research and topography. The shuttle helped keep the Hubble telescope alive, giving us new eyes with which to see the outer edges of the universe. We've learned a lot over the past 30 years, but now it's time to put that knowledge to work. So we look ahead to new missions, to new spaceships, to new programs that will take us more places, back to the moon, to asteroids and comets, to Mars and beyond. Well, let's take a look and see what's happening at NASA today. We know we've launched a rocket to Jupiter. Let's see what else is going on. Ah, uh, so many choices. What shall we show you first? Let's see. Ah, uh, this one's good. That one up there. Up that. Ah, uh, wait, I have something special for you. You know you're here today during one of the most exciting times in NASA's history. NASA is in the process of transferring low Earth orbit spaceflight over to the private sector and industry through an experimental program called COTS, Commercial Orbital Transportation Services. Commercial partners are set to conduct at least 20 cargo resupply trips to the International Space Station over the next five years. You might be working with us by working with them. And think about this, a hundred years ago, there were no airlines. And just a few decades later, millions of people travel by air. Many of you probably arrived here on an airplane and didn't even give it a second thought. In the future, your dreams of space travel, although still daring and dangerous, could be a reality for far more people than ever thought of before. In the next couple of decades, commercial space transportation has the power to transform our world in ways not seen since the dawn of aviation over a hundred years ago. By engaging the innovation and imagination of private commercial industry and people like you, NASA can focus on more complex missions, blazing the trail for humankind's journey into outer space. One thing's for sure, we're going to need creative thinkers and problem solvers like you to help figure out where we go next and how we're going to get there.